This is the fifth video in the mini series on how to post the game in Unity. The first video was an introduction, in the second video we made the control script, in the third video we modified the timescale which allowed us to post some components like the animator controllers, rigid bodies or the fixed update functions and in the previous video we saw how to post audio sources. Now in this video we'll see how we can post code that is running inside update functions. Here I have the scene as we left it in the previous video. When pressing the pause button, we see that everything stops except the camera movement. This happens because the camera movement is done within an update method. So, how we can pause update functions? In the second video, we created the game control script with everything that was needed to pause the game, and we included a public function called isGameRunning, which returns a boolean value. This public function allows other script to know the state of this variable. So, let's use this function in our camera script. For that, we need to define a reference of a game control type object, and this reference has to be initialized. There are several ways to do it, but this one is one of the simplest way. Just write game control equals find object of type game control. This instruction will check the hierarchy until it finds a game control type component, and that component will be stored inside this field. In other words, we'll be able to use the public functions within the game control script. Now, what we have to do is to execute the code inside the update function only if the game is running. I'm gonna define an if statement and the condition is gonna be game control dot is game running. That is to say, we ask the game control if the game is running. If it's true, the instruction that produce the camera movement are gonna be executed and if it's false, those instructions are not going to be executed and the camera movement is going to be stopped. Save the script and enter the play mode. Now, when we pause the game, the camera movement stops. So if you have a script that has an update function that is producing some changes over time, you can stop it using a method like this. That's all I wanted to show you. Hope you find it useful and see you next time.